When John McCain and Sarah Palin lost to Barack Obama and Joe Biden in the last election, thus began the greatest show on earth. You thought the election was interesting. That was nothing. What has been the most unpredictable, most fascinating thing in U.S. politics since the last election is watching the Republican Party reinvent itself after that loss. The always interesting dynamic between the Republican Party and the conservative movement has morphed this year to include the Tea Party protests in the streets, some of which were populist and some of which were sort of standard Republican pro-corporate organizing feats. The party's vice presidential nominee, Sarah Palin, quit politics and became a full-time political celebrity without portfolio. The usually frosty relationship between establishment Republicans and the libertarianish Republicans got sort of forcibly warmed up when Ron Paul's presidential campaign honestly and earnestly energized huge numbers of young conservatives. As that movement did not just flash in the pan, but Dr. Paul's son became a Senate frontrunner in the home state of the Republican majority leader, Republicans were forced to get over their disdain and embarrassment with the Ron Paul folks and try to embrace them. The militia movement and the John Birch Society and the conspiracy theory folks, like for example the birthers, came roaring back, not only into the conservative movement, but back into Republican politics and refused to stay on the margins of those politics. It has been fascinating. And it's not over yet. And the fact that Sharon Engel won the Republican nomination to run against Harry Reid for Senate in Nevada gives us a whole new case study to watch these amazing dynamics play out. Sharon Engel is on and of the far right conspiratorial fringe of Republican politics. But she won the Republican Senate primary. And the, and the most interesting thing about her since the election has been watching the Republican establishment try to warm up to her and try to make her over into a more mainstreamy seeming candidate. First, they shined up her website uh, to make it look less beware of black helicopters y. Um, but then there's the problem of her views. Those are proving harder to shine. Back in April, Sharon Angle told Talking Points Memo that she was a member of the Oath Keepers, a sort of militia like organization that says law enforcement officers should refrain from orders to lock Americans into concentration camps and turn American cities into huge prisons. Because, you know, that's coming. She also announced her Oath Keepers membership at a candidate's forum in February. I call myself an Oath Keeper. But now, now that Sharon Angle has won the Republican Senate primary, she's issued a clarification. I'm not a member of Oath Keepers. However, I do keep my oath of office to protect, defend, and support the Constitution. See, she is a keeper of oaths, not a capital O, capital K, Oath Keeper. Totally different. Word order matters. Keeper of oaths, Oath Keeper, as do capital letters. She's totally lowercase now. Then there is Sharon Engel on Social Security. We need to phase Medicare and Social Security out. Privatizing Social Security is so unpopular that you couldn't sell it to the public if you called it the basket of puppies and sky full of rainbows bill. But Sharon Engel will not give up. She will not back down. The idea of privatizing and getting out of Medicare and Social Security is not up for grabs. Not up for grabs until it becomes clear that the issue is so nuclear that even a very, very friendly Fox News morning show could not avoid it. Perhaps it's a misinformation or mischaracterization, but some have said that you are out to get rid of Social Security. That's not true, right? Please tell us that's not true. There's no way you can run for office like a Senate. You want to be a senator and be against one of the most successful social safety nets the world has ever known? Please tell us what we want to hear. What we need to do is personalize Social Security and Medicare so that the government can no longer raid it. Yes! Personalize Social Security! Things that are personal can be considered quite private. So that whole personalized versus privatized misunderstanding makes total sense. She is a keeper of oaths, not an oath keeper now. And when she said privatize Social Security before, she definitely meant personalize it, not privatize it, which is what she said. Having Sharon Engel run against Harry Reid is fascinating enough, but having the National Republican Party trying to pretend like it's not really that Sharon Engel who's running against Harry Reid is turning out to be a political science work of art.